Welcome. Mind of McCorkle presents Ask McCorkle, where I dive into current events, answer those burning vampire questions, and give life advice all from the undead perspective. So let's dive into today's issue. Apparently, the Minneapolis Police Department being defunded has backfired. Citizens are begging for more patrols and more police presence as response times are too slow. Duh. If you take away the police presence, there's going to be less chance of them responding, whether it's quickly or at all. Anyone with a brain should have seen that come in. It would be nice if people could police themselves, but we aren't at that stage. And I don't know if people will ever be at that stage where it's where you can police yourself, where it's okay for big cities to not have police. So, I guess the Minneapolis Police Department is putting police back, and they are increasing their number of police officers once again. Perhaps it would be nice to have the police be trained to be a little more sensitive and maybe that will take care of some systemic problems. And maybe if the citizen, citizens take responsibility and aren't jerks to the police as well, maybe some of those problems can be taken care of. Maybe if everyone met each other halfway, some of this shit wouldn't happen. Just a thought. Today's vampire question is again about vampire health. Do vampires need balanced nutrition? Do they eat fruits and vegetables? Well, I mean, if I were to stalk human beings... I wouldn't go after the vegetables because they haven't moved in a long time. And so their blood might not be all that good. There might not be a high quality or quantity of it. And as for those who act fruity, I wouldn't discriminate of, I wouldn't discriminate about someone's sexuality nor how flamboyant they were. So I wouldn't go after just the fruits and vegetables. I wouldn't go after them at all because I wouldn't care. And as I've already stated before, vampires don't need nutrition. We just need the blood to reanimate our corpses. As I've indicated already, there is quality and quantity of blood. So sometimes that goes into the factors of who is being stalked and hunted. Today's life advice comes from Yahoo Answers once again. And as always, because I didn't mark down who asked it, it is completely anonymous. The question is, I didn't ask to be born, so should I hate my parents for putting me in this world by force? Well, you can hate whoever you want for whatever reasons you want to hate them. No one asked to be born. I mean, there are philosophies that state that before you came to this earth, you did select your, basically the hand you were dealt, who you were born to and the circumstances and all that. But that's a phil philosophical thing and I don't know how true that is, and no one can prove it. No one asked 
to be born. I didn't ask to be a vampire, yet here I am, and I'm making the most of it, and I'm killing it. I'm sure your parents didn't ask for such an ungrateful little bitch to not like them. If you don't, if you don't like your parents, if you don't like your life, you can hate them all you want. You can hate your circumstances. You can hate whatever you want for whatever want, reason you want. That's fine. But don't use your parents giving you life as an excuse to hate them. Find a more, find a reason that's more logical. Because without life, you couldn't even hate things. But that's up to you. This has been Ask McCorkle by Mind of McCorkle. If you have any questions or comments or you would like to have me give you life advice, put them in the comments below and I will be sure to look at them and use them. Please like, share, and subscribe. And check out the links in the description below. Uh, I will link my Amazon, and you can check out all my books, the books that are the book that is about me and the books that I have written. This has been Ask McCorkle, and I'll talk at you soon.